All right, Little Caesars Fanceroni take two. Uh, as soon as I saw this come out, I was like, okay, how would this be with their deep, deep dish uh, Detroit style pizza? Uh, so my local Little Caesars was kind enough to make it for me. Uh, so I'm calling this the Little Caesars Fanceroni deep, deep dish pepperoni pizza. It's a mouthful. It's basically their deep, deep dish pizza. But instead of their regular pepperoni, I had them hook me up with the old world style pepperoni. We're going to check it out. Cue the intro. What is up, everyone? It is the endorsement and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. All right, the sun is setting. Dinner is on the table. No, there's no table. Uh, dinner is in the car. I went back to Little Caesars. A couple days ago, I launched the new uh, Fanceroni, Pepperoni, Old World Style Pepperoni. It's Old World Style Pepperoni, Fanceroni Pizza from Little Caesars, but they do the round, uh, and it's supposed to have caramelized edging, and I mentioned in that video, spoiler alert, that I'm not 100% a fan of their round, uh, so I was like, what is it going to taste like on the deep, deep dish? Because I love Little Caesars deep, deep dish. I even had a comment. If I find a comment from the uh, viewer uh, who posted, I wonder what this would be like on the deep, deep dish, I will post it up here. Uh, because great minds think alike in all oh my goodness. It's been, it's been, I don't know how long since I've had Little Caesars deep, deep dish. But check it out right there. That is what we got going on with the old world style pepperoni. Whew. All right, so one thing, one little takeaway, I don't think I mentioned in the first video, I don't know, these Old World pepperonis do have a smokier flavor to them. They are a little bit more flavorful, uh, but I find, and you can even see this, and I'll throw up a uh, close-up here, uh, they get really well done, and uh, I don't know if this is the highest quality of the Old World style uh, pepperonis, um, but I have had my weight in these over the years, and I also forgot to mention that that Marcos uh, also does this on their uh, Magnifico. Is that it? The Magnifico? Uh, something like that. So let me go into the corner right here. Kind of pull it up. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. Oh. All right. Let me readjust right here. This guy just got some alcohol getting in the truck next to me. Shout out. Alcohol during the middle of the week. I respect the game. Just kind of probably getting ready for the weekend. Uh, but all right, check it out. Here we go. That is a slice of the deep, deep dish with the old world style. Fancerino. I guess where they got the name, uh, these are fancy pepperonis, uh, this old world style. And uh, this isn't as crispy as I would like it on the end. You can see there's a little bit of a flop, uh, but the middle side uh, looks like it has some good crisp. This side does, but this side was the one I was eyeing as soon as I opened up the box. And uh, let's see. Wish me luck. Whew, it's been a while. Here we go. Mm-hmm. 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 Whoa. That was like three bites in one. All right, so listen. I am on record as saying that the lunch special over at Little Caesars, I've done a couple of videos on that lunch special, uh, get the four corner, this is the eight corner. Oh, and I forgot, I glossed over uh, $12 for this bad boy. Um, the lunch special with the four corner and a beverage, a Pepsi beverage, is uh, one of the best deals in fast food, uh, best lunch specials in fast food. Uh, but I will say this one is not as crispy as I would like it, but the cheese is on point, mixing in with the old world style uh, pepperoni. That was that was a big bite, that first one right there. Uh, second bite. Hmm, mm. yeah. Whew. 
All right, and rookie move, I didn't get a soda. I only have half of my uh, free. I had to use it today. That's why I'm drinking this late. My free uh, mocha latte. Not the best thing to go with the pizza. I usually have a Coca-Cola, an ice cold Coca-Cola with the pizza. Uh, but here we go. This thing is hitting on all levels. I did say, hey, can you hook me up with a uh, plethora of the old world style pepperoni? like they do on the round. Uh, it has over 100 uh, slices of the pepperoni on that round. Um, and he did an okay job, but I wanted it to kind of cover the entire thing, kind of like uh, with the round. Let me take another bite. This is more of a public service announcement saying, hey, if you want to try it on the deep, deep dish, uh, maybe your little Caesars will uh, hook you up. And like I said, $12 out the door. Uh, they were understaffed. Only two people in there. Shout out both of them working uh, in tandem back to back and a belly to belly uh they were knocking it out so i had to give him a little tip tip uh last bite Whew. yeah hmm all right, so listen, that was like my, what, third or fourth pizza review in the past couple weeks. Uh, I wanted to go to Pyology. I did the cauliflower uh, over at uh, Marco's. I did this one, the original one, the round. And I think there was another one kind of thrown into the mix right there. Uh, so I got to take a little step back from the pizza and the uh, bread and the dough uh, since I did finish that two-month um, cardio and uh, diet I did. Uh, maybe I'll make a video at my results. Uh, but let's give this uh, pizza a rating, shall we? Uh, none of the fanfare, the uh, head bow and all that stuff. Uh, like I said, a public service announcement. I wanted to show you that this is possible. I wanted to see how it was. Um, probably 1 to 100. I would give that uh, like a 90... It's good. Like a 93. I'd probably give the OG original like a 93 to 95. It is good. I just think those pepperonis on this pizza were a little overcooked. Uh, got a little too well done for me. And a bunch of them didn't really cup up. It didn't have the same look, the same feel, the same vibe. Still tasted good. And all of that cheese with that dough, uh, the edging, uh, I was happy with it. So there you go. Another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media, getting the word on my channel out to the masses. In closing, uh, thank you so much for joining me. Let me know in the comments below if this is something you would do. Get the old world style on the uh, deep, deep dish. Uh, and if you are the person who left that comment, uh, comment below and say, hey, that was me. And like I said, if I found that comment, I would have uh, already thrown it up on the screen. Uh, so thank you so much. And we'll see you soon with some more reviews. Bye.